This video is on density. Density is an intensive property, and intensive is going to clue you in that this property only depends on the composition of the substance and not on the size of the sample. So it doesn't matter how much you have of any given thing, its density is not going to change. Density is equal to the mass divided by volume. The units on density, therefore, are usually grams per milliliter or grams per centimeters cubed because one centimeter cubed is equal to a milliliter. Okay? So density is just mass over volume. Abbreviate it as a d m over v. So the density of a substance is going to usually decrease when its temperature increases. So as something gets warmer and warmer and warmer and warmer, the molecules are going to float farther apart, therefore there's going to be more space in between them, therefore less density. There's going to be less mass per unit volume. The exception here is water. We all know that ice floats. You put your ice cubes in your sweet tea or in your drink in the summertime, and you know that, notice that the ice is at the top. It doesn't sink down to the bottom. So ice floats. Well, ice is a solid. Usually solids come at a lower temperature. But in this case, at a lower temperature, our density does not increase. It decreases. And so density of water actually decreases when its temperature decreases. And this is the only exception there is to this principle that the density usually decreases when temperature increases. So let's try a couple example problems in your notes that you have. Example number one is a weather balloon is inflated to a volume of 2.2 times 10 to the third liters with 37.4 grams of helium. What is the density of helium in grams per liter? So we always want to write down our variables that are given to us. We know that our mass is 37.4 grams, our volume is 2.2 times 10 to the third liters, and we're looking for density. The next thing that we're going to do is we want to write down our equation. Well, our equation for density is density is equal to mass divided by volume. And then we want to solve for density. Okay, we don't have to rearrange our equation. It's rearranged already for us. We have density is equal to mass divided by volume. We plug in our variables. 37.4 grams for our mass, 22 or 2.2 times 10 to the third liters for volume. We take one divided by the other, plug it in your calculator, and you get 0.017 grams per milliliter. Now this is the density of my helium inside the balloon. And I know that I have to have my units here, grams per liter. Example number two asks what is the volume in cubic centimeters of a sample of cough syrup that has a mass of 50 grams. The density of cough syrup is 0.950 grams per centimeters cubed. Again, we first want to write down our variables that we have. We are looking for volume, so I have my volume equals a question mark because I don't know what that is yet. I'm told my mass is 50.0 grams. My density is 0.950 grams per centimeter cubed. Step number two is I write down my equation. My equation for density is D is equal to M over V, or my mass over volume. Well, I'm no longer looking for density. In fact, this time I'm looking for volume. So I need to rearrange my equation. I multiply both sides by volume to get rid of it on the right-hand side. Just some algebra. And I have volume is equal to mass over density. I plug in my variables. My mass of 50.0 grams, my density of 0.950 grams per centimeters cubed. My grams cancels out. I have 1 over 1 over centimeters cubed. That brings my centimeters cubed to the top, and I give a final answer of 52.6 centimeters cubed. This is the volume of cough syrup that I would have to have 50.0 grams of it. So now go ahead and try number three. You have a plastic ball with a volume of 19.7 centimeters cubed with a mass of 15.8 grams. Would this ball sink or float in a container of gasoline, given that the gasoline's density is 0.66 to 0.69 grams per centimeter cubed? So again, you want to write down your variables first, re or write down the equation for density, then rearrange. And once you've rearranged, solve and remember to give your units. You should get an answer of 0.802 grams per centimeter cubed. 
you'll notice that the density of the ball is greater than the density of gas. Therefore, it will sink. And then once you've completed number three, you want to do any pre-lab questions for your density lab that you'll be doing in class in the next day or two.